good evening my friends last week i <clears throat> told you that on thursday in the evening i will get some time to talk to you and i suggested what on which points i will start my discussion you have sub, you have given some suggestions Rita Di, Rita Banerji, Shoikot Niyogi. Okay. The suggestions are Shapon Chaudhuri. Sir, please discuss on transfer of power documents. Another suggestion, sir, please discuss on Mohakal's prophecies. Another suggestion from Manoj Chatterjee that yesterday the foreign minister and defense minister of Japan has called on prime minister and told discussions were also held about the way forward to conduct it on the remains said it to be Netaji SC Bose's kept in Jankuji temple in Japan and I have told that of such a news there is no confirmation a section of the third generation of bosses are trying to feed these false stories to the media. Yes, these third generation bosses who are against the theory, a section of the third generation bosses who are against the Prentice theory, crash and as theory is now in favor. They are turning towards the crash and as theory they are collaborating with the dr cc bose section of the third generation bosses yes there is some compulsions on their side i have long before one year back i told that homeo bose group group is under compulsion to come to a compromise with the cc bose group on all these issues for their common survival for their common survival because day after day all the crimes committed by them and their past forefathers is going to be exposed and in that situation situation compulsion these two section the Cecil Bose group and the Omeo Bose group is under situation compulsion to have a compromise for their common survival Tapos Banerjee has got a suggestion. It's a fact as evident from their reluctance in organizing any major programs. Oh, Tapos is giving some comment on, on the activities of the government of India. The government of India has not organized any major function on 21st October in Redford or anywhere in Delhi. It is his, his comments on that. And what I have told, and there is on, on, on Jonah Chatterjee has suggestion, please discuss Netaji's predictions about the Bengal and Bharat, also how you see these coming together. Anyway, I have told that today I will discuss on the transfer of power documents in the public domain. There are some volumes on the transfer of power the volumes i think from volume 1 to volume 13 and this is a this is the popular perceptions among many that possibly the transfer of power volumes contains the terms and conditions of the transfer of power that is a wrong perception the terms and conditions of the transfer of power is not disclosed to the people of India. If you go to the volume by Leonard Mosley on the last of British Raj, there it was clearly written that terms and conditions of the transfer of power to the people of this subcontinent, this Pakistan and India, will not be released will not be disclosed before 1999 
and I tell you, when JMCI was exploring on documents from the London itself, they have given on writing that some documents related to Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bosch will not be disclosed before 90, 2021. And from that fact, we are rightfully right to presume that the terms and conditions of the transfer of power will not be disclosed before 2021. And the <laughs> popular perceptions is that what the transfer of pol uh, power volumes contains the terms and conditions of the transfer of power. No, it is a very wrong perceptions. Transfer of power volumes, there are two volumes by BP Menon. That is in India. That is by BP Menon. And there, the right is these volumes, papers, contents the different correspondences during that hot period of 1945, 46, 47, that period, different correspondences which are piled up, compiled and edited during that 45, 46, 47, on which the transfer of power and partition of India was being planned and programmed. There is an India side transfer of power by BP Menon. Other side, the papers or correspondences between different civil, civilians, Indian politicians, top heads, different political parties, and on the England side, their prime minister, their cabinet, their, their secretaries, all these correspondences and also the correspondences from the, the heads of the princely states, all these correspondences are compiled and edited from England. All these volumes are published from the Queen's Office London and being edited by very, very highly placed persons in academia or in having a vast army background or university professors. All these editors and edited, and definitely, if you go through the volumes, you will see that there are some some parts of the papers are are not disclosed. It's highly edited, and sensitive areas are kept still now secret. And from the late seventies till date, I so far I remember thirteen volumes have been published. <coughs> published and these volumes uh, contains only the correspondences, suggestions from different sides, Indian politicians, princely states, England high officers, prime ministers, commander in chiefs, all these and some secretaries. These correspondences are compiled and released one after another. Each volume size about 700 page to 800 page, 900 page, like this. And this is a huge, each one is a huge volume, huge volume. And from those volumes, we are not supposed to get the very sensitive areas. But still then, if we read very carefully, we can get some sensitive, some touches, some reflections of the sensitive areas. And today, I have told you, I will discuss on the volume 6. Volume 6 contains, contains that period, that contains the documents of that period after the end of the Great War and the starting of the INA Redford trial. That period, that period corresponds from the politicians on the India side and high officers, prime ministers, commander in chiefs of the British Indian Army, all these correspondences. And today I, am, I will discuss volume six. Let me first go to the page 47. 
I will only touch the sensitive areas. I know you are interested about the Nidhaji mystery. Yes, I am a Nidhaji mystery. That keeping my keeping these two questions in my background of my mind, I will try to refer to those to those specific areas from volume six. Subsequently, I will discuss the other volumes. So far, I know and I have read up to volume five that do not contain very sensitive uh, points on this data G or INA. Here you see, I am I am quote I am quoting from 47. That is 11th August 1945. A letter written by E. M. Jenkins to Moody, high officer in London. This is, this is a part of the Wavell papers. At that time, it is Wavell who is the governor general here in India. Here, here they, they are planning the trial of Subhas Chandra Bosch, planning how to deal with the arrested INA or IIL soldiers, IIL soldiers or INA persons or the ministers of the provisional government of Ajadhin Dabshnitaji Subhas Chandra Bosch. They are processing their trial. I am quoting one. The external affairs department are under his excellency's instruction sending an official telegram to the Indian office setting out the points in which India is specially interested in any surrender terms imposed on Japan and saying that we wish to be consulted about these points. The noting was seen in the home department and his excellency understands that the surrender list of the traitors whom we wish to be handed over to us has been prepared in the home department and sent to India office. Two of the points mentioned in the external affairs department telegram are Indian prisoners of war in Japanese hands and the treatment of Bosch and his associate and of Jeeps. His Excellency considered that these matters require very careful considerations. In particular, he is not at all sure that Bosch and his immediate associates should be returned to India for trial. It might be better to have them dealt with as war criminals outside India. You see, the, the, the suggestion is that the Bosch and his associates will be arrested outside and we tried outside the India. That is the first solutions because the trial inside India, and you see that term war criminal. War criminal. Both to be tried as a war criminal. And the trial, the first choice to try him outside India. Because any trial of this person inside India will arouse the people. Yeah. Then page 49, there are three terms that there are three categories. After arrest, they will categorize the arrested persons in three sections, blacks, grays, and whites. I think you have read all these things. Black means who are proved to be that was done as per their allegations has injured, injured the British interest, has injured the British or British Indian soldiers. Those are some murder charges against whom and those will be stamped as blacks. Grays, those persons, black who are black, officers or men are classified as black if they consider that they should be brought to the trial for the criminal offense and if their release would be dangerous for the British Indian interest in, in in interest here, Grays, those who has been members of an enemy organization and subjected to enemy propaganda and have been affected thereby, but are not considered to be fundamentally and incurably disloyal. Whites, those who are loyal and their loyalty is beyond questions. They are the categories. And, and there are so many 
so many pages the how the different modalities of the trip of the trial then i am going to the another page because many of the part of you are interested about them trial of those the subhas chandra bos and his associate were criminal yes there is a already there is a process of trying netaji subhas chandra bos and his associated associates as war criminal that i am showing from this volume i am quoting one stanza the importance she that they are planning the completion of these all these trials and some political solutions of india before the next general election in england that means they are thinking of transfer of power and solution of all these political problems in india before the next election their next election is 1945 in england next election after 5 years they want to leave this country in the initial this plan in 49 not before 49 you see i am reading that stanza to sum up the labor government because labor government already in power the conservative government has gone defeated and gone now the labor government of atli has come this labor government is trying political solutions of this of, of the of, of, of this india and and completion of the trial of all these persons including shubhas chandra bose as war criminal and they want to complete this before the sec, next election general election of in england to sum up the labor government should take action immediately in london at the center and in delhi and the provisions and make declaration setting forth both the purposes underlying its action and the details of each measure its first aim should be to restore goodwill and confidence in india that it means by every means in power to seek final solution of the problem before the next general election in britain you see they want to have it to use 5 years from 1945 to solve all these problems but you see subsequently they are very hurrying the, the next their target was to hand, hand over the power with partition of india in 1948 june and remember and subsequent stage again they were so hasty to hand over power with partition of india in august 1947 you think on this they so hurriedly they were leaving this subcontinent physically why this hasty hasty transfer of power i want to i want everyone of my friends to think on this point first they decided to leave this country in 1949 then when mount batten is placed here in place of wabel the decision was to hand over power in 48 june then after the mount batten when bound came to india he decided took the decision to leave this country physically handing over power about 8 months prior to the target they handed over power in august 47 why this has to be weird to leave this country the uk who own the world with so much sacrifice why their hasty behavior to leave this country then to establish internally a form of self government in india which will give encouragement to the democratic and socially progressive elements in the country and to assist india to secure its international world in the inter world place 
a place in which she feels entitled because of size and importance. First you think, one line I what Jinnah is wanting? Jinnah would expect to take over the whole of Punjab subject to minor adjustment. Jinnah is wanting whole of Punjab. And you know Jinnah was wanting whole of Bengal. There's a line from page number 107. It is not possible for me to read all the lines in all the pages. I am encouraging you to, to read for yourself the volumes that will rather enrich your knowledge. In page number 107, I am one, reading one line. The problem is an extremely difficult one and will not be made easily by the return of members of Boses INA. If Boses INA comes back to the Indian soil, that will complicate the whole situation. The problem is an extremely difficult one and will not be made easier by the return of the members of the Boses INA. They are so anxious, very anxious how to treat, how to deal with this issue. The INA soldiers, those who are already arrested, arrested, still after the arrest of the INA soldiers, the British is so anxious how to treat them. Another lie I am reading. Many of the INA men obviously have great regard for both. He may be, be he, may, he may yet become a national hero. The cabinet should consider very carefully what to do about him. He means that the Shubhas Chandra Bose. If he could be disposed of without being sent back to India, I am sure. It would be good thing if he could be disposed of without being sent back to India, I am sure it would be a good thing. That means British first thinking not to bring Shubhas Bos to India and to manage him, to tackle him, to dispose him outside India. How can this disposal be of Shubhas Chandra Bose? Definitely, another option is very secretly annihilating, secretly killing him. That is the option. That was the original order of 1941 by the British SS to kill this person secretly. When this Subhash Chandra Bose was leaving India on the way to Europe through West Asia, that was the original order. Annihilate the person, kill the persons secretly. That order, that order is never withdrawn. But he's still now thinking in terms of managing and disposing Subhash Bose in that way, to disposing of outside India. And British is very, very, very anxious. Again, thinking in the line, if any harsh measure is taken, they are writing harsh measures against INA as a whole would undoubtedly be wounding the majority of the Indian opinion. Indian opinion. They are afraid of. Then they are thinking different options how to treat Subhaspush. That is the date of the Home Ministry Department, New Delhi, 23rd August. After five days of the so-called, the date of the Splin test. Remember, on 19th August, 
from all india radio station delhi it is british india they broadcast it the plane crash story involving shubhas chandra bose that in british has come to know the plane involving shubhas bose has crashed in taiwan it is the all india radio 19th august broadcast it and even then on 9th on 23rd august there is a home ministry department <coughs> meeting where this decision is being taken i have not so far ends the note that this note on how to the treatment of bush this note of the home ministry on how to treat bush the subject of treatment of bush and they are writing bosses case must have a full backing of the his ministry's government they are forwarding their proposal to the government in london because all the proposals need to be approved by the government of uk again Page number one thirty-eight, stanza three. I have examined your suggestions that Bose be treated as a war criminal. Bose be treated as a war criminal. Yes, proposal is on by R. F. Moody. Why as war criminal? Yes, war criminal. And how to treat Bose? Different modalities. how to treat bosh very anxious how to treat bosh page number 139 as regards the treatment of bosh page 138 and 139 i reading as regards the treatment of bosh there are the following possibilities bring him back to india and try him either for waging war or under the enemy agents ordinance number b to have him tried by any court in burma or malayo for waging war against king in that country c option c have him tried by a military court outside india intern him in india bring him and intern him option e intern him in some other british positions like sicily is iceland last option leave him where he is and don't ask for his surrender with by this time on 23rd they have got a smell their intelligence report Bose is outside their clutches. He has gone to a very safe place. That's why their option is leave him where he is, and don't ask for his surrender. There are many many discussions. I am just reading you. i'm reading one seven stanza of this interning boss in india would lead only to agitation to let him out and to his release after a short time he might then escape to russia and as he had done it in 1940 there would also be a usual agitation for a trial we would incur the odium of detention without trial eighth la eighth eighth stanza there is more to be said for detention and inter internment somewhere out of india out of sight would be to some extent out of mind 
and the agitation for his release might be less. Also, escape to Russia would be difficult. In many ways, the easiest course would be to leave him where he is and not to ask for his release. He might, of course, in certain circumstances, be welcomed by Russians. This course would raise fewest immediate political difficulties, but the security authorities considered that in certain circumstances, his presence in Russia would be so dangerous as to rule it out altogether. Again, they are discussing his presence in Russia is for the immediately, it is safer for the British, but his presence in other ways in Russia will be in other way more dangerous for the British Empire. I'm reading one, one line from page number 263. The news has been faked with the Japanese connivance. The pen crash story. They are commenting. The news has been faked with the Japanese connivance and that Bose has gone underground to reappear at the correct psychological moment, which may be provided by the installation of a national government or by decision by the existing government to take a very lenient view of the treachery of the Bosch and the INA. Political circles in the province have been greatly interested in the recent news item, which alleges that Bush had been seen allied in Saigon after the aircraft accident. My friends, are you listening to what I am saying? Shuman Mukherjee, Argodotto, Arijit Bosch, Arijit Bosch, Anjan. Political circles in the province has been greatly interested in the recent news item which alleges that Bose had been seen alleged in Saigon after the aircraft accident. Yes, Bose has been seen in Saigon after 18th August. That's the record in the transfer of our volume 6. But it is very intelligent in using the diplomatic language, the political language. So where the politics is concerned, English language is very, is, I, think, I think, the best language. This language can, is the best for the political use and diplomatic use. In one line. Yes. Subsequent disclosures of files and documents, yes. Clearly showing that, yes, Bush was in Saigon after 18th August. I referred to these from different angles. 